Mr. Cannon, congratulations. Thank you very much, Sam. In terms of moving forward now, what are your main priorities for the rest of this week? Well, I'm going to need to sit down now with, with uh, colleagues uh, across uh, the House of Keys and indeed Tim Ward, firm up on their views in terms of, of what we actually now need to do from shaping an island plan. We've put that outline in the manifesto. Um, I need to take that further forwards with them uh, in terms of some more detail and then I really need to shape a team around that that can, be, that can deliver from a council of ministers perspective. There's a huge amount to get on and do, Sam. We've got short term issues that need tackling but we also need to have a long term vision for this island and um, we set that out uh, in the manifesto as a secure, vibrant and sustainable island and I want to put together and shape a team. Um, to deliver on that, but also in the best way possible to draw the collective will of all uh, members of parliament to, who, who, who at their heart want to, to ensure that we have the, the island is in the best shape uh, going forward. And you said about your team, we've heard from MHKs that there wasn't any horse trading going on before today. When are we expecting to see your top team come to shape? Well, I expect to shape that over the next couple of days. Well, uh, there, there is urgent issues that need tackling that we need to discuss and that we need to get some shape to and you, know, you don't want to leave a massive void uh, now in government so that will be shaped over the next few days. And one of those big issues which we've come back to a couple of times in the run-up to this has been the gas situation both you and Dr Anson said you're not satisfied of what looks like could happen. Are you going to seek as a new administration talks with Manx Gas to see if any more can be done? Well we've, we've heard from the gas company now, we've heard from the regulator, uh, there are still areas that we need clarity on and, and we need to determine and I will need to determine with colleagues whether there is a, a, a government re formal government response to this or whether this now becomes a matter for, for, for Parliament per se. Um, you know, I'll be discussing that in the, in the coming days but clearly this is a serious issue uh, for the island. There will be a government response prepared uh, depending on the Tim Wall vote, either which way that, that vote goes. And just finally, uh, I've seen the speaker on the, on the register of business has put forward a suggestion as part of the, positive, the, the Public Accounts Committee for a public inquiry into how COVID has been handled on the island. Is that something right now you're prepared to say if you support or not? That's going to be a matter for the next Council of Ministers, I think, to determine. And of course, uh, I, you know, I expect that, that Tim Wall themselves will want to say in that. Thank you, Mr. Cannon, and Thanks. congratulations again. Thanks very much.